Gene therapy is the manipulation of genes, mainly with the intention to cure genetic diseases. It is highly pursued for development and inevitably it is also a highly controversial subject in the field of science. At present, gene therapy can be classified into two types. One of them is germline gene therapy which can simply be used to alter the genetics of the germ cells before fertilization. This is already highly controversial because hereditary information will be changed and it will be passed on to other generations. Hence, this concept of gene therapy is difficult for scientists to deal with for current ethical and moral issues. Religious groups and creationists do not approve of this as it interferes with God's work. Other members of the public also strongly protest to this. The main reason is it breaches individual rights as parents have full control over their children's traits. However, scientists have been fighting hard to continue development in certain areas of gene therapy, such as the stem cell technology. The stem cell is a cell that is capable of transforming to other cells. With the aid of gene therapy, modified therapeutic genes are transferred into stem cells of the patients to designate the type of cell formed. This technology allows a biological repair kit to be developed yet do not have an adverse effect on the gene pool. Hence, this aspect of gene therapy is more favoured by the public. The successes in gene therapy create a following that favours this technology. The first yet successful case shows why. On September 14, 1990, four-year-old Ashanti De Silva was treated with gene therapy for a disease that severely weakened her immune system. In Ashanti's gene therapy procedure, doctors removed white blood cells from the child's body and then incubated them in the lab. The healthy ADA gene was introduced into a retrovirus. The retrovirus was used as a vector to insert the copies of the healthy gene into the white blood cells with missing genes. The genetically modified blood cells were incubated for a longer period of time and then put back into the patient's bloodstream. By then, her immune system improved by 40% and she is able to live a normal life happily ever after. If this operation is successfully applied to a, let's say, uncurable diseased person, let's say a blind person, and this uncurable disease is actually healed, cured, and he's no longer blind, this is some revolutionary operation, so it's quite a feat. I don't think it's right because I have my own belief that it will be changing the nature of this world. So I don't think humans are meant to alter the looks of their own child. So I don't approve it at all. If you use the gene therapy in the inherited disease, I really strongly like it because this is the new approach and the prom really promising approach to cure the inherited disease. But I decided to use this approach in creating predetermined babies, super people, or cloned pets. I think it's good because it is used to cure people's illnesses, and as long as the other people are not harmed, then it's good for people in general. I think it's a good thing. Um, I think that's a more dramatic issue than the gene therapy being used now because it will have permanent effects rather than temporary effects, as it will be passed to the next generations. Um, I think it needs a very strict regulation because people can use that kind of gene therapy in areas other than use other than curing this, such as they can use their this therapy to change their baby's features, out features, or other things such as their characteristics, and this might be used by governments as a way of recruiting very strong armies, or even in I don't think it's really ethical for people to choose um, their babies the way their babies look because it changes some values in the society.